Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, we continue to talk about one-to-one -one relationship. And uh, this video, we are gonna introduce another way to do the one-to-one -one mapping, which is using shared primary key. So what is the shared primary key? Oh my God, I forgot to open this thing. A little bit slow. Let's uh, create another one called uh, one, two, one, shared DK. Okay. Uh, suppose now we have a customer. Okay, I have to bring this thing here. Suppose now we have a customer and we have address. Mm hmm. And uh, we have address here. E. I shouldn't do like this way. I have a more efficient way. Okay, let's go to the code. Go to the code. So first, I'm gonna comment this entity. Okay, this one is using a join a column. Okay, watch my previous video. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna create another package here. Okay, and also uh, here we are also use the same example, which first one is a customer. Okay, and uh, we add the entity. That's why I comment this one. Otherwise, they're gonna have a conflict. I haven't solved the problem package to scan problem. And uh, let me just uh, copy this thing here, okay. The things here is exactly the same and also for this piece. And the same thing we write down for the address. Okay, we can do is a copy paste. And for the address, we still need to have what? We still need to have entity, getter, setter, and we also need to have the this thing, okay. Copy is faster than typing, okay. So, so far we have our project set up like this way, okay. Uh, under the customer and uh, this is address and now the customer and address has no relationship, okay. Now, if I want to use in share the primary key, what's gonna happen? private customer oh sorry address and address okay as we know if we add one to one annotation here by default it's gonna create two tables and on the customer is gonna have a join column address underscore id right as the foreign key for the relationship for the two tables so what is the shared primary key? Let me show you, okay. Eh, how to do this one? Eh? Yes, this one, this one, this one. Okay, good, good. Shared primary key is like this. So now we have a two table, okay, two table. First is a customer table. Customer table has how many records? The first one is ID and we have a first name and we have a last name. Okay. And for the address, we have what? In the address, we have ID as primary key, we have a street and we have a zip code. So what is a, pri a shared primary key? Shared primary key is like this. The customer, I have my, I have our first customer, okay? First customer, one. Uh, name is uh, Tina and the last name is XING. 
and in the address I have a first address 1052556 so you can see the two records now okay for the shared primary key which means when this primary key which one when this primary key in customer and this primary key in address they are the same right one match to this one and we will think customer one tina xing will have this one one thousand five two five five six this address this is called a shared primary key give you another example suppose now we have another record suppose now here we have another record here i have address two uh three 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 okay one thousand five two five five seven and here we have another customer miss x i n g and i have three a b c uh hey let me using this one hello word okay and uh, so for the two this customer does this customer has address so how to find out in the address table search if we have any address the primary key is two and here we don't have so for the second customer miss xing it doesn't have address and then for the third how to find if this hello world has any address using the hello world primary key okay to search in the address table do we have a address the primary key is three yes i have so in this case the hello world this user will have address one thousand five two five five seven so this is called a shared primary key shared primary key means share the value of the primary key between the two tables customer and address okay and how to achieve that we achieve using primary key join column okay just add this annotation primary key join column then when we run let's run it okay the customer won't generate a address id foreign key okay okay let's go and probably from here you already see uh creation okay mm, good let's do it do a little bit like this let's go to the table a refresh okay two table here and when we see address id street zip code go to customer still id first name and the last name and in this case you have to maintain the primary key between the customer table and the address table have the same value if they have a relationship okay so now let me make a little bit change you tell me it's uh, correct or not correct okay so under the uh, customer i have a generated value here and uh, under the address okay I have generated the value here. Will this one be correct? Think about it. Generate value generate the value annotation here. It means you as you uh, ask a database to auto generate a value for us, right? When we do like this, it won't work. The reason for that is for shared primary key. For share the primary key, okay, let me use it. For share the primary key, we have to maintain if the customer one has a relationship with this address one, we have to maintain the value.
between the two tables. But if we add the generated value here and add the generated value here, they might be different. Because suppose I insert the customer one, two, three, then I insert another customer here is gonna be four, right? Four something. And I insert another customer uh, for the four, this customer, uh, A, B, C, A, B, C. It doesn't have address, okay? Then I insert another customer which has address. So for auto generate, the next sequence is gonna be five, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, okay? And now if I using auto generate in the address, the next value is four. Four, 1001, 1001. So with shared primary key, in this case, this address should be for the five. But when we use shared primary key, it gonna belong to the customer four. So when we using shared primary key, make sure on the other side, don't using generated value. You can you can have a both of the class has assigned value, it's fine. But if you want to have a generated value, make sure only the owning side of the relationship has a generated value. The other side, yes, after you save persist the customer you using dot get id then you using this id set to the address id so you maintain customer and address have the same value for the primary key okay so keep in mind okay for the address okay not do not using generated value make sure this part is assigned Okay, so uh, that's it for the share the primary uh, share the primary key uh, to do the to man to map the one to one unidirectional relationship. And if you still have question, you can leave a comment below. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. And the next video gonna be the one to one bidirectional share the primary key. That's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.